We've certainly been hearing a lot about Paula Broadwell, but it was Jill Kelly's complaint to the FBI about receiving disturbing emails that started this entire scandal. ABC's Brian Ross has been tracking Kelly's role in this case. Brian. Well, good morning. Her detractors say 37-year-old Jill Kelly of Tampa is nothing more than a name-dropping, social-climbing, bored socialite. But she somehow got close to two of the most powerful men in the country, and they are paying a price for it. Jill Kelly spent the day at her home in Tampa Tuesday, not answering questions, but not really avoiding cameras either, showing up in a bright new outfit every day. As she looked out the window of her home, a television set could be seen in the background with news coverage of the scandal that has focused attention on who she is and how she ended up in the middle of it all. The license plate on Kelly's Mercedes-Benz shows she is an honorary counsel for South Korea. And in 911 phone calls, Kelly told the dispatcher that she deserved protection from the media outside because of that. Because I'm an honorary counsel general, so I have inviolability, so um, I should, they should not be able to cross my property. I don't know if you want to get diplomatic uh, protection involved as well, but now they, they possess against a lot of cross my property. Kelly lives near McDill Air Force Base, the home of the U.S. Central Command, where friends say she ingratiated herself with the brass through parties and favors. Jill is known as a gracious hostess, a vivacious individual. This picture was taken two years ago at a party at the Kelly home, showing Jill Kelly's twin sister, Natalie, General Petraeus, Jill's husband, Scott, Jill, and the general's wife, Holly Petraeus. There's no question they were friends and no, no reason why they wouldn't be friends. But despite all her lavish entertaining, court documents reviewed by ABC News show that Jill Kelly and her husband have been sued at least nine times and face foreclosure on their home. The Kelly home also served as the office for a charity she and her husband, a doctor, once set up for cancer victims, which spent tens of thousands of dollars on travel, meals, and entertainment. Kelly's twin sister, Natalie, has her own legal and financial troubles and lost custody of her son in a contentious divorce proceeding in which she was actually able to get Petraeus as the head of the CIA and General Allen running the war in Afghanistan to take the time to write a letter to the judge on her behalf. One more indication, Amy, of the close connections between these powerful men and the Jill Kelly.